Um, this is Anthony from All Metal Music. I'm here with Goldeneye from Tear. How have you been? Oh, I've been very fine. Thank you. <laughs> How did both legs of the Pagan Fest tour go for you guys, the North American and the European? They both have gone really, really good and uh, beyond expectation in, uh, in the States, I would say. It's been a really good turnout. Um, yeah, it's been really good. Did you have a favorite city to play or visit that was in the States that you haven't seen before? Well, we started in Canada. Uh, I must say Toronto was a really beautiful place for me. And uh, Montreal was the best, best audience-wise. That was the best place to play. And I guess in the States, it has been uh, California was the, uh, uh, it topped, absolutely. Yeah, Montreal is a fun city. I've been there before. Uh, you guys played the New England Metal Fest up in Massachusetts, which was actually the first show in America. How did that go for you guys, and how was that compared to the major festivals of Europe? Well, it. I guess it went okay. It was the uh, first time with uh, the drummer who did the uh, States show. We have a uh, original drummer has a, a spinal injury, so he couldn't be on the show. So we actually had a drummer on the Canadian show and one drummer on the US show. So, and also a drummer on the European leg. So it was a little bit difficult, but it went, we got through it, so. And uh, the festival, uh, all in all, it was, it was great, but uh, what they lack everywhere in the States apparently are backstages and s places to put your things. We had to stand outside with our things, so, <laughs> so but I guess that's just the States. <laughs> As you just mentioned, your regular drummer couldn't play. How was it different trying to play with other drummers that you haven't played with before compared to having your regular drummer? Oh, well, it has been very difficult because apparently we play a lot of technical stuff. We didn't think of that, but <laughs> we do, and the drummers have been complaining a bit about that. Um, I don't know. It has been okay. They, they did, did a really good job, all the drummers, so... It's been okay. Your new CD, Land, comes out at the end of this month in Europe. How will that CD be different than your previous ones? Well, for us, it was supposed to be more um, st straight ahead, not so progressive. But apparently from the reviewers, they think it's more progressive. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But we think it's easier. It's more... Uh, I think it's more... Uh, there's more crowd pleaser, uh, pleasers on that one than the, than the Ragnarok. Does Land have more lyrics in English or the Faroese language? There's actually more in fairies on Land. Uh, reason for that, I don't know. It just happens the way it does. So, and there's some some on Icelandic too. So. Why did you guys decide to re-record Hail the Hammer for the new CD? Well, we had some time over and uh, we thought Hail to the Hammer had always been a success live. Everybody's asking for that song. So we thought, well, let's do a remake because uh, the first album, the sound was not that good at that. So we just tried to m make, m make a new version of it. How did the fans seem to react to the new songs on this tour? Uh, well, they're, I, I think they're very surprised because uh, I guess it comes off they haven't heard the songs before because the album isn't out yet. So uh, they stand and listen, but uh, there's good applause after the song, so I guess they like it. There were recently rumors flying around that Tears a Racist band, but those were abolished. What was your reaction when you heard those rumors first going around? <laughs> well, we were quite surprised. It totally came back on us, but, well, 
there's there's nothing behind that so we have nothing to do with that we're not a racial nazi or anything so we're just singing singing about all traditional stuff so what are your thoughts on the people who try to make Odinism and Asa true into something racist when it's really not? Well, I think those people should try to get a better life. <laughs> I agree with you there. Uh, some people who are into the Nordic myths feel that they identify with some gods better than other ones. Do you feel that you identify with certain ones more than others? Not really. I, I mean, as a band, I, we don't really think that way. Not at all. It's uh, This is all sagas. This is uh, stories from our past, which we just find very exciting to uh, write about and compare to... Uh, and compare them to what what is happening recently in the world today, because it's the just the stories repeat themselves. So, other than that, it's, that's what we do anyway. Do you have a favorite myth or saga in the Nordic books, or any of them, for that matter? Well, there are so many. Uh, there's not really a favorite amongst them. It's all very nice, I would say. What are your plans for the future? Our plans? Well, we're going to be back here in the States and know you a little bit more. Conquer all, all the States. That's, that's the main future. <laughs> well, that's all I had planned. Thanks for the interview. Is there anything you'd like to say in conclusion? Yeah. Buy the fucking album. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Thanks.